It's a woodland clearing in Margley Woods, making a nice job. And this is an interesting tree. It's divided very low at the ground level. It's an oak tree. And I tell you what, the smell of the oak. It's glorious. It really smells nutty and fresh and it's a nice tree. Um, but the, you know the reason why we had the old saying about touch wood? And touch wood meant basically that they believed that the gods lived in the wood and by touching wood you were actually touching the gods. Um, it was a blessing and uh, that's the reason why. And the, in the Christian faith of course the crucifix was made of wood. Same principle. Now here you can see very clearly this is the Cambrian layer. This is where just underneath here, underneath the bark, that's where the tree grows under there. The bark is a protection for the heartwood which is this and you can see if I lift up there you can see there's a bit of, bit of damage there but you can see how the, um, the wood has um, not so clearly seen here but it's got rings. Look there's a ring here. Now the ring is caused by of all things, let's see if I can find a better example of that for you. There might be one over here. So the ring is caused by the Cambrian layer um, having different size cells uh, for different parts of the season. So if you imagine that during the height of moisture, height of rainfall, etc., etc., the cells will be big. And when it's not so big, when it's not when it's drier the cells are in fact closer together and that's what is a ring now again these are these trees here not really showing that very clearly because they're in a forest environment where water is fairly stable through here um, so but there's another example that's called a pollarded tree that's where the tree has been cut back in its early stages and it's sent up all these sprouts so here's an example of how they used to cut staves, which were sticks, uh, for making fencing. And then you get this very unusual <laughs> shape of a tree. Lots and lots of very prone to snapping and falling, as you can imagine. Look, look at that split there, potentially. But a really big, strong tree. There's tons of timber up there. Look at all that. Wow. And that's called a coppice tree. And in this woodland there's lots of um, hornbeam coppice.